What's up guys? Today we're gonna to talk about punching harder, punching faster, and increasing your punching power as it pertains to MMA fight training. Now this is tricky. When fighters say, hey, I, I want more power behind my punch, I wanna punch faster, I wanna do all these things, it's really one and the same. When you think of power, it is force and velocity. That, those are the ingredients that create power. Force, the ability to strain or create maximum tension in the muscle, which we talk about in another video. Velocity is all about your body's ability to do two things. One, your central nervous system, which is your brain and your spinal cord, being able to send a signal, a rapid signal to your muscles to contract. And we can enhance that signal or the strength of that signal through proper training, gaining strength, making sure we're doing ballistic movements, whether that's forms of plyometrics uh, or medicine ball throws. Medicine ball throws and plyometrics can also work together with heavy strength training to increase the speed of that signal. But here's another thing. It's about kinetic linking. Sounds like a fancy term and I get it. It's a lot easier to believe that you guys can get some bands that you can all of a sudden start doing just fast punches and hey, if I move my hands fast, I must be getting faster, right? It's not that easy. Okay, and it's also not about taking weights and randomly throwing punches. We've talked about this before, guys. Like that, those weights are actually pulling you down. That, and there, if there's one thing we know about when we're fighting, we do not want our hands down, right? So even if you're punching, even if you're shadow boxing, you're constantly having to fight gravity pulling down. You have to think about the vector in which you're producing that force or the direction. So when you're talking about punching faster, uh, punching with more power, it's not only about getting stronger and working on power development strategies that we've talked about in other videos, it comes down to kinetic linking. And what this term means is it's about my ability to transfer force from my hips through my trunk or what you hear a lot of people refer to as core through the shoulder and ultimately into the opponent if we're throwing a punch, okay? If we're throwing a kick, Obviously, everything starts from the ground up. So me being able to generate force, being able to stabilize, be in a good position, if I'm weak or if I'm imbalanced, anywhere within this kinetic chain, again, hips, trunk, shoulder, I'm not gonna be able to transfer. And more importantly, we know that when we fight, it's constantly about getting into another position. So if I throw a punch here and I'm able to roll, all these muscles shortening, lengthening, and transferring force, it's fluid, it's rhythmic. And so what can you do to enhance kinetic linking? Well, the good news is I've already talked about a lot of it. Medicine ball training is one such example. Say I'm facing a wall or a partner, right? And I'm loading through the hip. Well, if I wanna throw that ball, I have to push force into the ground. It comes up through my hip as it extends, transfers through my obliques and the rest of my trunk, and then through my hands into the wall. Now, if you just sit here and do the trunk twist thing, you are not emphasizing kinetic linking. You've gotta get your whole body involved. Kinetic linking is represented by whole body movements. A kettlebell swing is kinetic linking. A hang clean is kinetic linking. A medicine ball throw for height is kinetic linking. But you've gotta focus on these things. You've got to make sure that they're a part of your program because it's not just about the conditioning you do. It's not just about the weight you lift. It's not just about your jujitsu uh, tactics and submissions that you practice. It's about understanding how to use your body, your entire body in a synchronous, harmonious way. I promise you, you can buy all the gadgets and infomercials that you want. You can spend hours trying to improve your hand speed, but ultimately, Hand speed and power is a result of you being able to use all the muscles of your body in a coordinated fashion in a blink of time. If you want to learn more about these techniques, tactics, the words, all the breakdown of this stuff and get a little bit more into the science and the application of it, click the link below for a 45 minute webinar that's completely free that will talk to you about how these things fit as a bigger part of your fight training puzzle.